Welcome back to this World of Warcraft Let's Play. You're with Sambo and joining us as always is Seraphis, our level 11 Pandaren monk. Say g'day Seraphis. Hello. Hello and hello to you guys watching along from home. Good to see you. Of course, if you joined us in the last episode, you'll remember that we're here in the Pei Wu Forest. That's right, we're right in the heart of it. And you can see we've got ourselves a quest over to the west here, which is called Wrecking the Wreck. And this is something pretty funny you might remember from last week as well. It's all about Mikhail Bay. Yeah, Michael Bay. Speak to Michael Bay in the Pei Wu Forest to dislodge the Alliance ship. We need to find our engineer. He parted ways with us when we were escaping the wreckage. You should be able to find him somewhere in the Western Forest. Tell him Korga sent you and he'll get in line to help. So mm, it's going to be interesting. Michael Bay, hmm. Yeah, a lot of you guys picked up on that in the comments as well. You know what, before we head out to the West, and we're going to do that in just a minute, it's time for some Carmel dancing. There we go. And of course, a lot of you guys say, hey, I know that dance. It's the Carmel dancing dance, if you're wondering what it is every single race in Pandaria and in fact the World of Warcraft has a specific dance and it's always based on some kind of pop culture reference but anyway down to the shout outs I love shout outs and our first one here is from Burning AC 64 and they say hey there Sambo been watching your videos for a while and I was wondering if I could get a shout out for my level 75 death knight called Tadrissi on Dragonblight thanks very much well thank you Burning AC 64 certainly hope Hope you're enjoying your DK. My main is a DK and I love it a whole bunch. Got another one here and this is from JN2001MY and they say, hey Sambo, can I please get a shout out for me and my brother's characters on Fire Tree? My character is a destruction warlock called Helix and my brother is called Jai and these characters are our mains. Well, there you go. Certainly hope you're enjoying your romp through World of Warcraft. Got another one here and this one is from Minecraft Me. 2000 and they say hey Sambo I really like your videos especially your World of Warcraft ones if I could please have a shout out for both me and my friends WoW characters that would be awesome my character is called Tribal Eyes and he is a level 90 Blood Elf Death Knight of the realm Veknilash and oh I've got a funny feeling that might be EU I haven't heard that one before and my friend is called Hambo Hambo good lord that sounds a lot like Sambo if you ask me and he is a level 80 dwarven hunter of the realm spinebreaker thank you for uploading your videos keep it up oh thank you very much and i'm really glad you enjoy them there minecraft meme 2000 thank you for your support mate got another one here and this one is from mr borgius borg and he says hey i love that the pandaren female is dancing a swedish student dance oh here we go called carmel dancing and it is indeed that as you know i am swedish so can i please have a shout out in a future episode you most certainly can given the fact that we're doing a Swedish dance right now you absolutely can got another shout out here and this is from X Empire State and they say hey Sambo I don't have a WoW account but I love watching your let's play since your original Worgen wow that's a long time ago could I please have a shout out you most certainly can X Empire State and thank you very much for your support and finally we got one here and this is from Green Tim 45 and they say hey Sambo I really love your let's play it has inspired me to build a four thousand dollar computer good lord four thousand dollars my oh my okay so that i can make a let's play and one day be as good as you are please never stop doing them and i hope that someday we can play together or maybe do a let's play together please can i have a shout out in your next video and that is from green tim 45 well that's a lot of money to spend on a computer and you know what i can't wait to see your let's play I certainly hope you start them up because I love hearing about new Let's Players starting up. We always love to foster the Let's Playing community. And of course, reminding you guys, if you would like a shout out, well, you know what it is. All you need to do is ask in the comments below. It is that simple. But in the meantime, we need to get out of here. We need to go and head over to the West. And we're going to roll, baby, roll. Gosh, I love them. And again, they're kind of like a, well, a mage blink, I guess is the best way of putting it. Just a bit of a... Yeah, there you go, a bit of a movement boost and it's got a significant cooldown on it as well so you can't kind of spam it the entire time. But we're heading over here to find our engineer. Mm, I can see a bit of a wreckage over there. 
and of course his name is a bit weird it's Michael Bay well it's Mikhail Bay but you can tell it's a bit of a play on Michael Bay well I think so anyway and look at that I can see some copper veins over there but that's alright we'll leave them for now we're gonna try and find oh, 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 oh what's this hmm that is one of those darkened horrors that I don't want to really get in a tangle with right about now but that oh it looks like I may not have a chance oh no all right they're being engaged by all of these other characters here so I'm kind of safe to run through and here we go right into the camp and look who it is of course it would be a goblin named Michael Bay and there is G Firepaw he of course ran on ahead in last week's episode and he's already here so we've caught up and let's have a chat to Michael Bay <laughs> I've always wanted to be able to say that and see what he's got to say time is money friend yeah that's actually about right with Michael Bay isn't it time is money friend okay wrecking the wreck Korga sent you huh well I wouldn't mind doing a number on that ship for my own reasons anyway but it's gonna take some work give me a moment to think hmm all right, so he's having a bit of a think, and we get ourselves some Shangzi Academy rep there, 250. We always like that. Here we go. Handle with care. We can help you get your ship free, but we'll need more of the explosives we were trying to take back from the Alliance to make it happen. I told you. I told you guys that this would all be about explosives. You know what? I wonder if there's going to be slow motion in here as well. Anyway, I ordered the men to grab all of the explosives they could before making our escape. If you sift through the wreckage and the bodies to our south there should you there should be some explosive bundles among them those that didn't already blow up anyway get me enough of them and I think I can put something together for ya okay all right well it looks like we've got to recover six packed explosive charges so that should be easy he enough does. let's accept that quest and you can see G now has a quest for us as well it's good to see you good to see you as well G evil from the seas is the name of this one I do not know what this evil is that is infesting the forest Seraphis but I know exactly how to deal with it and so do you I think and you can see yeah we've got to kill eight of those darkened horrors or the darkened terrors and they're the ones that we've seen coming in here and you can see we get ourselves boots of courage which give us a whole plus seven armor which is great and hopefully they're a little bit different in style yep okay so we're turning brown now oh hello there's another player there we go all right so it's time for us to head out now and kill some of these darkened horrors or darkened terrors and in fact there's one right there let's get right into it no dilly dally shilly shallying around and of course you guys know all about dilly dally shilly shally don't you come on or do you have to hand in your video gamers card come on where abouts is shilly shally dilly dally from or rather dilly dally shilly shally got around the wrong way that's no good all right two at once can we do it and of course I'm trying to build up my chi with the jab here that builds chi in fact you can see two chi pouring down in front of me there using that tiger palm which takes one chi and then the blackout kick which takes two away from us and of course chi are the white dots here under our yellow energy bar nice and easy alright three out of eight of those oh and look at this here are some explosives that we're going to pick up and you can see the wreck of the ship in the background we'll go and have a look at that up close in just a minute we'll just deal with these horrors first there we go that was easy good he just fell over that one okay here we are explosive bundle packed explosion charge and we've got one out of six and let's see what it says light this end is the tooltip there light this end radio one out of six. Oh, and two out of six and we've got ourselves another horror hello all right it's all right we can deal with him easy peasy build up our chi and then do a nice big roundhouse and then hopefully finish them off there we go oh and look at that we have leveled up congratulations level 12 unfortunately no new skills for us which is a bit of a bummer hooray. yes hooray well done and look how quickly those explosive bundles have oh my god respawn okay i'm just gonna wait oh there's another one Okay, so maybe if we wait here for five seconds, they'll come back. It's busy. Yeah, look at that. I was not... We didn't even have to wait five seconds. We waited like one second. And there we go. Six out of six. All done. Now, what I want to do is head up here and just have a bit of a look around this ship. And yes, look, it's definitely an Alliance Skyship. There's no doubt about that. And how can I tell? It's because it's got the blue and gold markings. And of course, blue and gold are Alliance markings. Now, if this was Horde, it would be red. 
Whoa, okay, that's just the front part of it. Look at that view, folks. That is absolutely outstandingly amazing. Because if I can leap up here, look at that. That is the other half of the airship. That is that is amazing. Okay, I didn't realize it had been split in two like that. These are tormentors though, and we've come too far. So we actually don't want to go over there because these guys don't appear there. I think we've done it. We five out of eight dark. Okay, so we still need some of the darkened horrors. Here we go. These are the ones that we need. So it's these guys here. So you can see, of course, when I click on the little button next to the quest, the blue area on the minimap lights up. So you know exactly where you need to go for your quest objectives. And unless I'm mistaken, yep, there you go. You can actually see it on the main map as well. So if I click on this quest, you can see the blue disappears. But I can hover over the one, which is the other quest, click on that, and that basically enables that blue area. So you're never going to get lost in WoW. Now, of course, you can turn off all of those little aids if you wish. If you really want to do it old school. But everyone that complains that it's too easy now, it leads you by the nose. Blah, blah, look, just turn off all the aids. At least that WoW actually gives you the ability to turn all that stuff off. So, you know what? You can only complain at yourself if you've got it on and you don't like it. All right, here we go. Dark and horror. This is the, yeah, I think this is the last one. Seven out of eight we're up to. I need to get closer. There we go. All right, we are all done. That is it. Eight out of eight. Easy peasy, and we're going to head back over here to G and to, no we're not, and to Michael Bay I was about to say, but no, we've got a friend. That's okay, we can deal with a friend, it is XP, and I'm never going to complain about getting XP, that's for sure. Oh, and look at that, an escaped Hordy has come over to give us a bit of a helping hand as well. Oh, did I get a cloak then? I think I did, in fact we've got a few cloaks, and that one gives me plus two armor, and that one gives me plus three armor. You know what, even though it's going to look worse, and yeah it does, and I know a lot of you guys said, wow the cloaks look cool. I know it looks worse, but that is better stats, so yeah I'm just going to hang on to that one. Sorry, okay, G fire pour. I'm with you. There we go, boots of courage, so more gear again, plus seven armor. You make me proud, Seraphis, you make all of us proud. Thank you very much, G. I appreciate that. Alright, and we're going to put on our new boots, so we've got more armor. And they're very brown indeed and now it's time to talk to Michael Bay hey how you doing how you doing handle with care you're in one piece well that's a good sign <laughs> yeah it is really because we're not blowed up did you get your hands on what I asked for and yes we did six packed explosion charges more than enough I've got the main control panel constructed we should be ready very very soon mm. have a good one I wonder what he's going to do. That's interesting. All right, well, we're not talking to him yet. We're talking to G Firepaw, and this is called Urgent News. I'm sure Acer won't love this plan, but it's the only plan we've got. Would you mind being the bearer of bad news for me, Seraphis? Oh, what? I don't like being the bearer of bad news. She needs to know what we're doing so she can get everyone to safety. So we need to go and speak to Delora Lionheart at the wreck of the Skyseeker. And, of course, that is the wreck that we just had a look over before. And doesn't look like we've got any more quests, no. But what I do have over here, somewhere around here, I'm just going to ignore him, is, there it is, it's the Copper Vein. And we missed one earlier, so we don't want to miss twice, because that is just money down the drain if you miss out on those. So whenever you see a node, honestly, guys, just seriously, just mine it. That's all you need to do. Okay, so here's the wreck. It looks like we have to go around the front of it. I'm going to see if I can avoid these guys. Oh, look at that, there's an escaped Horde Engineer. Didn't really get very far escaping, did he? No. It's not sure about the name of him not sure if it's too apt but oh gosh look at that forest how lush and amazing does it look we love the mists of pandaria expansion it is so cool we've got some incense there oh i love it so much oh look i can see the alliance over here this is very interesting hang on we've been dealing to the horde well we've been dealing with the horde rather and they've automatically assumed that it's the alliance that caused this problem over here but maybe just maybe we're going to get a chance to have a chat to the alliance themselves and see what's going on because i know a lot of you guys said oh well done for joining the horde well we haven't joined the horde yet we're still making up our minds so it looks like we're going to get to see things from the alliance perspective and jojo ironbro is over here as well so this will be interesting delora lionheart captain of the sky seeker hmm let's have a chat with her 
You have our favor, Pandaren. You have our favor, Pandaren. Urgent news. Your friend is out fighting to save my crew. Fiercely, I might add. I'm afraid your message may have to wait. Oh, you are so Asia, Asia is actually already helping the Alliance, which is very, very interesting. All right, so let's have a chat to good old Jojo I here like first, see what he's got to say. There we go. All right, from bad to worse. After their ship crashed, evil creatures swept up from the sea to pick through the wreckage. Oh, so that's where those horrors came from. They didn't come from the ship at all. Interesting. Our aid may seem but a drop in the pond at the thought of the misfortune they've faced today, but we wish to defeat their tormentors. These people desperately need our help. And you can see the quest objective there is to defeat eight deep scale tormentors. And we did see some of them before when we came too far into that gap in the airship over there. All right, let's see what Delora Lionheart has to say. You have our favor, Pandaren. There we go. None left behind. Your friend has been doing everything she can to save my crew. Of course, she's Aza Cloud Singer. Of course she would do that. I'm deeply appreciative. We're still dealing with more than we can handle here. Quenching the fires on the wreckage. We're getting my people out, fighting off these evil sea creatures and trying to prevent the prisoners from escaping. We're basically in over our heads. I still have men on the ship that we need to get clear before the wreckage collapses on them. Now I know this is asking a lot but can you help? So you can see we've got to go and rescue three injured sailors and we get a vest of compassion and that's going to give us 13 extra armour and yeah it's going to give us that nice brown sort of look there so we will definitely accept that one. Friendly. And you can see one here medical supplies and we need medical supplies to tend to our wounded but the supply crates containing them were scattered in the crash. If you can bring back any crates you could find that would be very, very nice. So she would be very grateful about that. And we need to recover eight crates of I medical like supplies. All right, so we are absolutely helping out the Alliance now. So, yep, there's some Alliance folk. There's an injured sailor. Lots of injured sailors. We've got an Alliance priest there. Hello. All right, well, I guess we need to head into the wreckage site and see what we can find. And I think over there, there's an injured sailor, in fact. So let's see what we can do. And you can see my little hand. Hopefully you can see that on the YouTube video there. It's changed to an assist icon. So I just right click on them. And there we go. Oh, oh, look at that. I'm actually carrying them. I thought, where did they go? I'm actually carrying the sailor there, the injured sailor on my shoulder, which is very cool. Now I'm guessing that we have to bring them back. I'm not sure, but we'll soon find out. Maybe back to the priest here. There we go. All right, I can barely breathe. I'm alive, thanks to you. No problem at all. And there we are, injured sailors rescued one out of three. And I do like how the quests mix things up like that, like just something different to do always. When you think about all of our questing here through the Mr. Pandaria, through the island, look at that, the flippers out in the background there from Sheng Zen Zhu, whatever his name is, I can't remember now. Sorry, Mr. Turtle. But you know what, there's always some kind of different mechanic going on with the quests. Yeah, sure, there's the fetch quests, but there's always something different happening and just enough to mix it up and keep it interesting and that's what I like a whole bunch okay so let's do a bit of a roll baby roll there we go and pick up our final three of three none left behind there we go that is the third of three injured soldiers so let's take that back to the Alliance headquarters over here where the priest is and hopefully he can fix them all up and bring him back to full health a bit of luck there we go I thought that was it. I thought I was going to die. Thank you, stranger. You're most welcome. Let's have a chat to Delora Lionheart. None left behind. And there's our vest of compassion. You, you know what? I'm kind of glad that we bought that in now because that means I can actually use this. Here we go. Vest of compassion. I can wear that right now when we go in to fight these new guys here, which look to be a lot bigger. And they have a whole bunch more hit points as well. So let's try out on this one here, which has tried to attack these Sky Seeker Sailors. But that means that hopefully we've got a bit of a hand. It's not going to be quite as hard. But gee, even with the three of us here, you can see he's taking quite a beating. So I think we're going to have to be a little bit careful. And like I say, I'm really glad that I got my extra chest piece there. Thank goodness. All right, now, don't forget, we also have to try and find the medical supplies. And in fact, I can see one over in the background there, the crate with the medical symbol on it. That's the one that we're going to have to go for. But boy, these things take a beating. No doubt about it. All right, never mind. There's an injured soldier right next to a crate. Poor guy. Sorry, not here to help you. I'm just here to steal the medical supplies that could probably heal you. So don't mind me. But it is for a greater cause. The needs of the many outweigh the needs of the few. I'm sorry. It's for the greater good. I'm sure you understand. 
yeah, any way we can justify it. Now this is very cool because this is actually quite a big structure here and this is how big the sky ships are if you've ever been to Northrend and especially Ice Crown and if you've wandered around in the you know the one what is it the sky bra I can't remember what it's called up above Ice Crown there there's an Alliance one and a Horde one the Alliance one is huge and it floats through the sky and it's basically this model so you can see how big they are they're pretty amazing all right there we go five out of eight and nearly six out of eight yep good now I'm glad there's no resistance around here I'm just making sure oh there's one tucked away underneath I thought there might be one hidden down there grab that one have a look around I think there was some up the top so we'll just hop up there oh can I no can't quite there we go and there's one over there sorry injured sailor uh, yeah <clears throat> awkward oh dear all right but there we go eight out of eight we are all done let's roll baby roll there we are injured sailor again gosh i feel really bad just running past them but like i say this is going to help you later on so mm, justifying it any way that i can at this point okay let's go back here now we've got all this stuff and oh wait a minute i've still got the tormentors to kill oh bah, man i completely forgot about that damn it these guys are hard as well Roundhouse kick, there we go, 16 HP left and done. Three out of eight, looks like I'm gonna get help with all of them and well, you know what, I'm not complaining about that. Not in the slightest. There we go, four out of eight, so that's half of them done. And I want to click on that and where do I need to go? Okay, so they're all down in here somewhere apparently. You can see that little area on the mini, well maybe you can't, but in the mini map, they're all around here somewhere. But I don't seem to see any. It's like they've all disappeared, which is a bit weird. Oh, I don't want to go down there because that's the edge of the turtle down there. That's where it's all bloody and gory, and that's where the thorn in his side is, I guess. Oh, here they are. Okay, so they were just respawning. No problem. Right. Of course, we're building up our chi with the jab, and then we can unleash our blackout kick. There we go. Five out of eight. This is weird because I was here bef before. Yeah, okay, maybe they were just they've been killed by another player. I guess took a while to respawn. Very cool. You know what? I can't wait to get some new abilities either. Six out of eight, and you can see we're all look. We only just dinged earlier in the episode to level twelve. Already we're over halfway to level thirteen. So you can't complain that you don't level fast here in WoW these days. It's a very fast journey. Why is he turning around? That's the weirdest thing ever. I have no idea. What was he trying to waggle his butt at us? Not sure. All right, there we go. Seven out of eight, and just a one more to get. And it looks like we we'll have to grab this guy up here, which is bizarre because we were over here before. But never mind. All right, building up that chi. There we go. Four. As soon as you got four chi, you might as well spend it. And there we go, eight out of eight, and a pair of old boots thrown in for good measure. Patchwork shoes, of course we're not going to wear them because we've just got ourselves some new shoes, and they will do quite nicely. In fact, this episode's been really good for gear. Got ourselves a number of items, just like we did last episode, in fact. So they're really ramping up the gear now. Look at that view. Look at that view. It is amazing. I love it. All right, two quests to hand in here. I think we'll start off with Jojo Ironbrow. What do you need? You are a fear to behold upon the battlefield. That's right, Until it is I, Seraphis. Yep. Okay, Delora Lionheart, like let's see what she's got case. to say. Did you find the boxes that I spoke of? The Alliance Medical Supplies, all eight of them? We sure did. These will do perfectly, she says. I'll get my medics to work immediately. Thank you. Well, you you're very favor, welcome. Kenya. Anything we can do to help the Alliance? All right, so Jojo oh, Ironbro. Oh, oh, now this is interesting. Look at this. It's actually a named mob there, and he looks pretty fearsome. An ancient evil Seraphis. I was looking for you. One of the escaping sailors just spotted Asa in the wreckage of the ship facing some enormous beast. She might need your help. You should go to her. Quickly, defeat Vordraka. 
the deep sea nightmare now you know what folks we ain't got enough time we are completely out of time for this episode so what i'm going to do Goodbye. i'm going to not accept that one and instead we're going to leave it so that when we log in here the next time we know to pick I that like one up there you go that is it i certainly hope you enjoyed this episode you can see we're slowly making our way through all of this island now and in fact this area here at the wreck of the sky seeker is the last part of the map so not long soon folks before we're off this island and we're going to have to make our choice is it going to be horde or is it going to be alliance very interesting and of course getting the next episode we get to speak with jojo ironbrow head on out and see if we can defeat that monster with acer somehow i've got a funny feeling that it's all going to come to a head we're going to have to make our decision very very shortly but in the meantime folks that's it we need to get out of here on behalf of myself sambo seraphis are now level 12 and three quarters good lord pandaren monk is us saying take care i hope you guys are having a great week wherever you are in the world we do look forward to seeing you next time we will see you then and bye 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 now